Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to Libra's Way. So, I think this morning I woke up and I was like, you know what, I should do a reading on this because I feel like, well it's more of a discussion, but it's because I feel like we're in a world or in a time where people just desperately want to control the outcome of things and I completely understand why especially because for a lot of people things just don't work out or they haven't worked out the way that they thought and it's kind of like they everybody wants their situation to work out better than it does right um and for some for very few it definitely will but I feel like there's this message that wants to just come through and just be discussed which is to simply allow for Pluto return to play out. So many people want to control what is going to come, what is inevitable, um, and they want to control the outcome of, frankly, a lot of the pain and heartbreak and hurt that we've seen through wars, through controversies, through things in the Constitution or the Declaration being questioned, you know, so I completely understand that. However, there are certain events that are going to play out regardless of how we try to stop them because it's just not meant for them to be worked out. Now, when you do see certain things work out, it's likely because their astrological chart is aligned with that particular situation. So, I mean, even if you were to look up why a certain person gets elected over another, frankly, it all boils down to their astrological chart. Um, but, of course, I don't see things that way. I see things as, like, if I'm not, like, how do I explain it? It's like, for example... I knew who would be president before president and vice president would happen. And when I, a few months later, when I came across an astrologer who was talking about the, the reason astrologically why certain people would become president, vice president, whoever else, it made sense. But I didn't see it that way. And I think part of the other interesting part of this, sort of like Pluto return, things coming full circle because that's what Pluto does. It brings things full circle. It brings the death of massive cycles. It brings destruction. It is war of the underworld. So like Pluto, Scorpio, by the way, is ruled by Pluto. So if you have a Scorpio placement, heavy Scorpio placement, by the way, I'm a Scorpio rising. So if you're a sun, moon rising Scorpio, you are likely currently going through a site as an extreme transformational phase in which by next year and into 2024 you will feel like a new person um but on the other hand scorpios in general because they because pluto rules scorpio um pluto is also the underworld's death and rebirth this is also our strongest time as scorpions okay um, to really transform and become, like, to, to leave an old person behind and enter into a new phase. So, just don't be surprised that, like, if you're a Scorpio, or if you see Pluto return happening, or if you know Scorpio personally, that seems to be going through some sort of a death, a mini death process, like in their mind, in their hearts, some sort of a massive part of their life or certain scenario in their life is dying out. It's because a new phase is about to enter. So this means they could be saying things like, I want to move to another country. I want to go to grad school. I want to move up in my career. I want to move to another city or state. Um, I want to get married and I'm going to get married. It's this concept of, I'm going to have kids. This type of big stuff that happens will happen between t now and 2024, most likely, for Scorpios. And so that's why you're going to see that with your friends, with your family, with even U.S. Because the U.S. was created during Pluto return. Scorpio rules in some way, shape, or form the U.S. So 
that's why we have high levels of capitalism here where it's like yes you can become anything you want we're very intense in the u.s we have a lot of like different ways of doing things going about doing things than the rest of the world we set the tone for a lot of things because we're ruled by pluto because we're ruled by the death and rebirth process we control and have ruled the death and rebirth process of what it means to be a democracy of course we used some of utilized you know ancient greece and rome um as our sort of like mentor type of timeline right that's like a timeline that's a mentor to the u.s in the sense um which is very interesting but you know the big the big takeaway here is embrace what comes with pluto return although there might be dark difficult situations you know as many chains you want to wrap around the supreme court to prevent it from being attacked as many gates and cops they want to place in front of you know certain structures who knows around the u.s from really bad things that have been happening that we've seen in the news lately we also have to come to terms with if those events didn't happen we would not have the progress that we need in order to survive and maintain and continue democracy the the republic as it is and as it is known to be we can't transform if we don't have a reason to rethink and to adjust in order to transform to be better right we ha we need a catalyst so to eliminate the catalysts from happening eliminates progress and when you eliminate or you sideline progress from being made from terrible life events unfortunately that's where humans are because we are so primitive in this lifetime and people don't want to accept a lot of this information but i think the big takeaway here is just simply to allow pluto return to occur to allow the underbelly the underworld to have its moment and of course, I don't want that, but at the same time, you need to remind people of the light through the darkness. And this is why the darkness is so important because if you don't have, you don't have dark without light and you don't have light without dark, they complement each other no matter how much people want to deny it, right? This is why opposites attract. This is why people have death and rebirth processes we wouldn't have we wouldn't have children we wouldn't have a re rebirth we wouldn't have births of physical children if the light and the dark didn't exist yin and yang there's a reason that these these storylines that these this way of life has persisted for eons of time so I guess for whoever is out there wanting to or trying to kind of control or contain certain situations, it is meant for that to happen. Yes, absolutely. We need we need people, law enforcement. We need um, the the Supreme Courts. We need checks and balances, highest orders. Okay, we need those things because those things do allow for a sense of stability to maintain itself. But even the highest of orders, the checks and balances, the third party in between or uh, stabilizers, they realize that there can never be full success with any of the things that they do because it's not destined for that to happen right it's not destined for this third party for these in-betweeners for these checks and balances to to come to a complete fruition because there will always be something to learn because we as humans primitive as we are have not learned the massive lessons yet and we won't until wars have completely
been cut off, right? And by that time, of course, the consciousness level will raise to an extent that people all around the world will forgo, will release any types of weapons that they have of mass destruction, significant things like guns, things where peace can simply be like this, right? Um, and how do you achieve that? Well, we've had a few discussions about that before, but currently what we need to focus on this year in 2022 is to allow for Pluto's return, for Pluto's cycle to simply come to come to a fruition, come full circle and complete its transit over the past 250 years. Embrace what Pluto wants to teach us, okay? People don't want, they don't necessarily want to know what Pluto has in store, but everybody does know. If you are in astrology, if you are a reader, if you are have any knowledge or a third party person watching and trying to learn more about any of this type of stuff, right? How the planets align with what we do on Earth. Everyone knows. 250 years ago, we had 1776. They can try to prevent whatever it is that they want to prevent, but if it's inevitable, it's inevitable, right? There are things that will play out regardless of whatever the case might be. So, as we know, there is a a crisis, there is an impact of sorts that will come full circle towards the later part, the latter part of this year. It has not yet come, but when it does come, it will shake the world. It will shake the world to its core, whatever this is. And in some ways, it you have to embrace that. Um, and unfortunately, we don't know what that will be the guides will not show me what it is, but it will be extreme, whatever this is, and it will affect people. I don't know to what extent. Um, I am blocked from seeing that. I'm not allowed to see that. It's too, it's too um, delicate is what they tell me. And they have to protect that because they have to allow for people to learn the lessons that are in place people's destinies need to play out as a result of this particular event. So, like I said, and as you all know, I will never condone this type of stuff, but we can't stop the inevitable from occurring. All we can do is brace for it and be as smart as possible with what works for us and simply allow for the truth to come to light because whatever this big event is that happens will be something that brings significant truths to light there will be some sort of an impact due to these truths coming to light that we will be knocked off of our axis. The scales will be literally whacked by this, this circumstance that occurs. I don't know if it's a crisis. I don't know if it's just a big circumstance that occurs. It's something that shakes everyone. And, you know, um, that's, that's the message. Whatever this message is that needed to get out there for certain people to listen to or groups of people who, who knows, controls all of this, the timelines, the abilities. What I'm telling you as a guide on my side is to allow whatever this is to play out. Don't, and, and whenever you have significant events like this occur and you see these wild historical things happen, Sometimes they are necessary. As unfortunate as it is, as sad as it is, if you can't see that, if you can't 
take that lesson in, if you can't embrace that way of thought as much as I don't necessarily want to think that or feel that or believe that, it is the truth of the matter. And we are trying to get to the truth of the matter more and more because we have been plagued with, of course, disinformation. Disinformation and distrust and feeling like there is a sense of disloyalty. Watch how this plays out. Give it a few months. Let's see what happens. But as you all know, as you've seen all of my videos, you know what I think. Um, so if you haven't watched other videos, get a sense of what I'm thinking by checking those out. Like, comment, share, subscribe, you guys. It helps these big messages get out. And frankly, I feel as though this particular one and other ones similar to this need to get out. So just be prepared. See you all in the next video. Bye.